Hey you doing? Another day, another maker visit. I'm in luck. Um, we've travelled up to Las Vegas because my wife's got a couple of cousins and an uncle who live up here. So we've travelled up here and Bill Lavolsi lives in the area and I got in touch with Bill about the possibility of coming to see him what days he might be available and matching up days is never easy and I'm really really thankful that Bill has made some time to um, allow me to come and have a visit he said I can come over for a couple of hours which is good he was only like about half hour from where I was staying which was ideal I'm just driving around I don't know whether you'd say it's the outskirts of Vegas, but it's just the way the freeways are here. That I love the freeway system over here. It allows you to get all over the place without having to go through little back streets and that sort of thing too much. He was basically on the opposite side of Las Vegas to where I was staying, so I'm, I'm heading over and get to have a chat, and I'm really interested in meeting and talking to Bill because of his attitude to making and his, you know, he was gonna give everything a go and shows his mistakes and learns from his mistakes and just he's having a go at just about anything and everything that he can i love his video making technique too it's like a little different and he's uh, has a bit of a laugh and a joke and that sort of stuff in his videos as well I've just had my, my visit with Bill Lavolsi. Um, he's such a nice guy, and I think everybody that I'm meeting will be, fingers crossed. <laughs> Showed me into his very small one car workshop. So, yeah, it's, it's tiny. Uh, I mean, this is me speaking from somebody who works in a, a school workshop, so I'm used to space there, but I actually don't have any workshop at home so I sort of work out in the, the yard so I don't have a workshop as as much as he said it was chaotic um, he had enough of his tools all laid out 
and I guess they could use all of them as he goes around because you know you really use one tool at a time and I asked him because it's one of those questions that I keep thinking of about whether he had two 40 volt and one 10 volt um, tools and he said all of his things were 110. I didn't think you'd find you'd be able to get a table saw in 110 but he had a delta table saw uh, I, I think it looked like a really nice saw I've never used one but he, he was working on a project uh, the door for a, a um, little cabinet for his face shields and his welding last that he had on Instagram so he's making the doors for it and he just he worked on those I sat there and, and watched and we talked while he was doing that and then he did some routing and he was setting up to film all these little things and it was interesting for me making my videos um, seeing the in way that he miles, reset. Use the second from the left lane to take exit one for interstate 515 North US, 93 North US, 95 North. Okay, my GPS just told me where I need to go. Um, yeah, as a, as a person who makes videos myself, um, you're always wanting to make sure that it has some sort of an interest in it. So it was cool to see the way he moved his camera around to get all these little different shots and then he'd check them and see that the shot was was good and interesting and making moving the camera around the project and that's one of the things I like about his videos that it's not just one static shot and he does move around and just taking that time to move things bit by bit is um was what I wanted I, I was interested to see so um I think I learned a bit from that, which was really cool. Um, Shopcat, gorgeous little creature, and he's got a gorgeous little dog as well who just barked like crazy and um, then, then liked me. Use the second from the left.